Hi, my name is Harry Cardona. I work for the Sherwin-Williams Paint Company. I've been with the Sherwin-Williams Company for about since 80, 1989. Um, since we've been using the diamond brush method, I've noticed that this removed a bulk of the stain, polyurethane, and sealers that are on the floor. I thought it would actually take longer, but it's actually quicker, less dust involved, uh, less cost with sandpaper, chemicals, especially in the environments that I deal with with Board of Educations and, and residential homes where they don't want any of those chemicals anymore. This is a much safer, more kind of, I would say, green way of removing uh, the stain and sealer. Takes it down to the bare surface, which I was really impressed. I thought it would be kind of using it over and over to achieve where, where we are right now. And with the, and this just going on your traditional buffer, which also saves on having to invest in sandpaper, uh, rent a sander, which all my contractors were doing. So that kind of saves them time and labor from running back to the rental places to pick that unit up. And this is something that they just keep in their trucks. They could buy multiple attachments for other. So now their contractors and their other workers don't have to run around wasting time and money to, to basically achieve what they were getting from their uh, traditional way of uh, uh, removing the stain and sealer. The traditional way that my contractors have done it in the past would have, would have involved a lot more steps. And let's say an area this size that would probably take maybe four to five hours to complete. They have to come in here, strip it, screen it, um, different grades of sandpaper that would have involved. There's more cost there, the labor. So an area like this, you're probably looking at, it's probably saving us maybe 50% of the time with labor and material cost. You have to cover everything up, all the dust that's being created. So then that's more labor for the contractor to have to clean up afterwards after the job is complete when now, I, now I'm saving 50% on right across my bottom line. When they're doing areas like this or they're doing even residential homes, which is even more of a, an issue when it comes to people living in the home, now they could kind of accomplish everything in one day that may have taken coming back a second day to complete. Some of the methods in the past that I've dealt with, that dealt with myself and some of my contractors have been chemically stripping the floor. Um, that's worked in some cases, but usually it requires multiple applications when you use chemicals, and you never really know how the outcome is gonna be with a chemical, because sometimes they could stain the wood, they could um, actually create more work for you, and then the cleanup could also be an issue because that's kind of an environmental thing nowadays where you just can't sweep up chemicals and put them in the garbage and throw them out. Also with sandpaper, it's always been an issue because you could start sanding an area, you could over sand, damage the floor. Um, if it's not the right sandpaper, it gums up on you. You could actually do more harm than good when it comes to removing coatings off your, uh, your wood floors in in environments like this or in a residential home. Now with the dimer brush method that I was really impressed with was it's more of a smooth application where it's not really being extremely aggressive and you could kind of kind of go with the flow, very user friendly. A lot of the other contractors could kind of get in, get used to using it quickly instead of with the drum sander where if you don't have that experience, you just can't hand a drum sander to a novice applicator or there's gonna be a lot of damage. So what I've seen with the dimer brush system is very smooth, I mean, removes a lot in its first attempt without it really being aggressive. Again, very little dust, um, easy, easy to handle, and it's something that any contractor could, could start doing immediately instead of taking job after job after job to get familiar with the unit.